are we screw-ups? What do you mean? I mean, we're 34. 33? We don't even have this basic stuff figured out. Well, we're not screw-ups. We have a cardboard window. How are you, Miss Maya? I'm good, Mr. Manny. How Aww. are you? I saw the movie last night. Oh, yeah? Absolutely love it. Yay. You are amazing. Thank you. Who knew? <laughs> just, just my grandma. I was talking to Mr. Janto and he said he found the perfect friend in you. Yeah, I really feel exactly the same way, if not more. He's, he's one of a kind, special, beautiful, lovely, wonderful, handsome, talented, hilarious, sweet. Like, he's just so rare and amazing. And all that aside, he's just, he's so good. He's such a good actor. He's so talented. Like, but as a human being, I just got so lucky to get to do this with him, really. Yeah. Yeah. I thought so. <laughs> Look at him. He's about to have a baby that might have three hands or a shovel for a head. The thing he is most concerned about is whether or not I'm going to keep my boobs. I think that's sexy. You got lucky, sister. <laughs> yeah, I know. What made you interested in working with the film? From the minute I read it, I fell madly in love with it. I love Burton Brona so much. I love their their life together, right. their weird little bubble that they created, the way that they love each other, um, the way that they look at the world and the way that the world comes to them, their funny, weird little experience, and then all the characters that are described in it like, were like more delicious than the next. And like, it was such a great, fun, weird journey. And um, it was written so beautifully by two incredibly talented people. There's that one tender moment when you guys were on the, the trampoline. Yeah. And you're talking about having the baby and yeah. how you guys are going to raise a baby. And I'm like, oh, my God, I want them to be my mom and dad. Oh, <laughs> we can be, Manny. Thank you. We can Maya. be. We can talk about it later. Okay. You can adopt me. No problem. <laughs> now, having a baby, life changing. Yes. That's the whole point of the film, isn't yes. it? Yeah, I mean, it's nice because I'd had that experience personally. So it was nice for me to remember my old life and the things that I went through expecting our daughter and what that was going to be like. And there's so, there's so many questions and there's, there's this kind of unknown that you're really having to embrace and going into blindly. And it's nice to go into it with somebody that you love so much. And um, it's such a strange time. And then you worry so much about yourself and all this stuff. And then you meet your baby and you're like, oh, <laughs> it's about the baby. Oh, yes. It's not about me. It's about the baby. Yes. You were born in Gainesville, Florida. I was. Is that home or you, you're still searching for the perfect place? I need to go back to Gainesville because I only lived there for the first year of my life. I don't even know what it's like. My dad always tells me about it. But um, I've had many homes. I've lived in so many places and traveled so much. And there are so many times in my life where, you know, whether I was in college or after college or growing up, like there were all these different homes. but. Now my life has changed because I have a family, so I feel like my home is wherever my family is. And I found a perf a fantastic trivia about you today. Ooh, what? I didn't know your mommy is Minnie Ripperton. Yeah. Aww. She's my idol of the really? 70s. Yes. Really? <laughs> yes. And is it true that Maya, Maya, Maya at the end? That's me. Aww. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. It was a pleasure. It was all right. I'm going to do something about those ears. He looks like a trophy. I just don't think we should be talking about it. Right in front of the children. Oh, please, Bert, just white noise to them. Listen, watch this. Taylor. 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 <laughs> I could keep going on and on.